Welcome to the USA, where everyone needs a gimmick. Two twins visit their Uncle Stan for the summer in the small town of Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls isn't any ordinary town, though. The Good Characters Like any good story, it relies on its characters, and within the world of Gravity Falls, you need that to develop the town and the community in order to drive the plot forward. Each new person we meet has an arc of their own, whether it be a small arc or a big one and I would like to state that there are some pretty small arcs. Mabel, Dipper, and Stan certainly are the main characters of the show, but they wouldn't be anything without Wendy or Seuss around. Mature. Now before you go saying anything, the show is definitely PG, but what happens and what is said is a lot more mature than any other cartoons, especially for Disney. For example, and maybe this is just me, but I noticed that they like to put an emphasis on when a character is dead, while in other shows they kind of hint that they're always a way for them to survive or make your own conclusions as to not disturb a child. But they use the terms death, dead, and corpses. Not only that, but there are times when mature things are brought up like age gaps, family disputes, and many other things. Out of the world creativity. Now in other cartoons they have those episodes where something is potentially spooky but by the end of it it's proven that everything had a logical conclusion to it. But not Gravity Falls. Here, that's every episode. But by the end of it, there is no logical explanation. That's just the way it is. It's always going to be paranormal or supernatural. And every episode they try doing something new and imaginative. Like turning a dating sim in... Uh, just watch it. I, I won't spoil it. It's really good though. There are so many episodes where you just look at the screen and go, Hey, that's cool. One great villain. I'm not going to say much about this guy, but I have to say, I have to say, that this show may have one of the best cartoon villains I have ever seen, and that's Bill Cipher. You deserve a prize! Here, have a head that's always screaming! <laughs> He's funny, terrifying, and has a cool look to him. That's all I will say, and just just check him out. The Bad. Filler. Now it's weird, the reason I love Steven Universe is one of the bad aspects of this show, and that is too much filler, and maybe that's just me starting to enjoy more storyline based shows. But while watching I kept asking myself when the good parts were coming. When are the good parts coming? I honestly think that's just me, but as it is my opinion, is right here. Long build up. What I can chalk up to an actual complaint is that a lot of the best parts of the show come in at season 2 of the show. That's when it all starts to get good and take off. Maybe a bit, you know, before season 2 starts, like the last episode of season 1, but uh, but still. Making everything in season 1 just a big build for no reason, and if you pay attention and nitpick like I do, compare season 1 and 2 and you can tell that they weren't always headed to this exact end, based around one character in particular. McGucket. But I'm not going to explain here, because that's just too much of a nitpick. I said nitpick. I meant to say nitpick, but I said nitpicks, but I'm not going to change it, because I don't want to do that nit uh, that take again. So, uh... I'm okay, uh, audience, uh... I'm going to level with you. I completely forgot about my favorite character. I didn't write it down, so... I'm just going to improvise. Who's my favorite character? So many good characters from Gravity Falls. It's gotta be an extra something. something. Uh, off the top of my head, I, I, I mean, there's just there's so many good characters. Uh, Pacific and Northwest is kind of two dimensional until she gets. Uh, but Stan's so good too. Uh, uh, fuck it. Wendy. Wendy is by far the best character of the show. She's so laid back sometimes, she has personality for days, she's three-dimensional, she talks about other things, uh, she's pretty cool, they don't just go with the cliché at the end where the guy gets the girl, it's actually a friendship, and, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say about Wendy. I do love Wendy, but I love everyone else. But oh no, it's Wendy. It's still Wendy. Okay, there you go. Best best character of the show. Okay, changing here. No explanation, but it will no longer be called the Ass Blasted, but rather the Address. Okay.
The Address. Gravity Falls is the show I always secretly longed for as a kid. A show that focused on creepy, supernatural elements. Cause, as a kid I lived for that stuff. Believe it or not, but I wanted to be a cryptozoologist. Loch Ness, UFOs, X-Files, that was all me. Roll that all into one and add an animation, and you got yourself a recipe for a gimmick orgasm. Uh, wait, sh should I say that? Uh, it's too late. The animation is so good. It's one of those shows where adults or children can watch it. It can be silly and stupid some moments, but when it's time to get serious and or emotional, they really hammer it down. And that's due to the fact that the characters are so lovable that you can't stand to see anything bad happen to them. And the show keeps you guessing to see if it's going to happen or not. And this is Disney. No one expects something bad to happen to a main character in a Disney show. I also would like to point out the similarities between the show and one of my favorite book series, Spiderwick Chronicles, is uncanny. The journals, the forest, and the mythical creatures, it's all just fantastic. The show also hammers down family and true friends, how you don't have to like someone just to be friends with them. The relationship between Mabel and Dipper was so heartwarming to watch, and by the time it was all over, I was crying for everyone. That's right, I cry. I get emotional over made-up fiction. What of it? Huh? It's better than this realistic bullshit. Everything just wrapped up in a nice bow, and I can't say any more. I just... I just love it. Two stripes for this show. And goddamn, don't make a third season, please. Oh, don't. Don't ruin it. Clear your schedules, gentlemen. Oh, and I uh, forgot to mention I fucking love this show. Oh, I just don't. I don't want to forget about it later when I when I find some other shows. It's just so good. I the ending got me. I'm so sad. I just I I just want to remember forever. So you know what? Just I'm gonna put this at the end of end of this video. I just I just to remind myself how much I love this show. Oh.